All right, so I'm going to do an analysis slash commentary of the games I played at BAM, specifically uh, my winner's semis match against Tez, my winner's finals match against Harvey, and my grand finals match against Tez, plus also sort of like my commentary on the tournament in general. So uh, let's get straight into the first match against Tez. <clears throat> now kind of my intention with this is that like I... I was interested in watching these sets because I noticed like how much that I do that is really not good. <laughs> like there are a lot of situations where I did just did things that were just objectively wrong, uh, and I think it kind of just goes to show how like the level of play of BB tag in Australia is still not that high. Like outside of a few people, uh, and I mean like eh. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I suppose we'll see. So, Name around. <clears throat> actually, I suppose I should give a bit of background as well. So, uh, uh, coming into the event, I was seated third. Uh, Harvey seated himself first, which Tez and I were both mad about, and we both told him that we would both beat him, and which we did. And Tez was seated second, and I was seated third. So, uh, Tez was one of the guys that I knew that like I had to beat. Uh, I was more worried about him than Harvey. I was like kind of worried about both, but I was more so concerned about Tez. So I spent like, uh, you know, the t the time leading up to ban, like thinking, okay, how am I going to beat Tez? How am I going to beat Tez? And like I asked him to play a lot. I tried to like play him as much as I could, so I could like figure out what stuff he did, so I could beat him. <clears throat> and like I spent probably more time like, thinking about how I was going to like beat him than anyone else. And I think it kind of paid off. I think I did make some like good adaptations to some of the stuff that I was losing to, uh, which I will possibly point out. <clears throat> so uh, this is Winner's Semis. I played him earlier than I would have liked to, obviously, because, I, I mean, I think like Tez should have been first seed, I should have been second seed, Avi should have been third seed. Anyway, let's not get into that. So, so this was kind of like, you know, it's the moment of like, this is what I've been preparing for. Now it's time to put it into practice. It's always like kind of a cool feeling when you have like that, but it's also pretty stressful, obviously. <clears throat> so. Oh no, Tez, the Aegis enthusiast. Can't have the wrong right, name for the game. wrong player. <laughs> But I think so, uh, something that Tez has frequently complained about is that he thinks that round start and BB tag is too close. Uh, and after thinking about it, I think I actually agree with him, to be honest. Like, because when I compare it to Skullgirls, like, in Skullgirls, you... There are no, like, fast buttons that will hit the other character at round start. Like, if you just hold back or down back, you know, you're going to be fine. Like, if you want to, like, reach something, if you want, like, something that will reach a round start, it's going to be, like, 20 frames. So, like, round start and Skullgirls is, like, pretty chill, which I think is a good thing for, you know, tag games. You know, they they can be so explosive, but you don't want it to be, like, immediately from the bat. I guess, like, maybe you, that's an interesting thing in and of itself. Like, your games like Marvel 3, where you can fucking move before the game actually starts, which I think is so stupid. Uh, I, yeah, Marvel 2 is like that as well, uh, which I hate that. I, I really like how in Skullgirls, like, the round start is pretty just chill. Uh, but, yeah. So, but the thing is that this is obviously, like, super in my favor, round start. Because Narukami has probably second best round start in the game after Mitsuru. So, Tez, like, always complains about round start. It's super in my favor. Now, what I usually do at round start is, like... Because Tez, he pretty much has to, like, jump back. Otherwise, if he does, like, anything else, he will have to block Narukami, which is bad. So he pretty much will always jump back, which means like he's always sort of like putting himself at a disadvantage immediately. Uh, well, disadvantage like quote unquote, not really like a big disadvantage. So what I usually do, what I pretty much did, I think probably every single game uh, in the tournament that I played against him, I just did orbiter round start. I just did like a uh, hold orbiter assist and block, <clears throat> and that kind of just like the reason why I do that. Actually, let's just... Jedi's at advantage here. He's got yeah. color coordination. He's got... So there it is. So here's me jumping back. So the reason why I, I like do the order is because... Uh, obviously, like... If he tries to call Jin, then Jin will get hit by the order. 
like if he tries to over oh, just like controls the ground. I think one of the most important things in this matchup is that I just want to like use my assist to control the ground, which is what Hyde is like super good for in a way that like S is good but not against I guess. Uh Orbiter is like really good against these characters, I think. So I'm really like glad that I learned Hyde for Ben. I think it worked out really well. Uh okay, Hyde's pretty good. Orbiter is a fucking good assist. Okay. So now what's gonna happen? His team synchronized. Oh yes, this. Uh I just wanna go back a little bit. Fuck, how do you go back? There's a stronger bond. The bond level is Ah, fucking hell. Sorry, that's too far back. I think Jedi is at advantage here. He's got yeah. color coordination. He's got his, okay. his team. So here he is. So one of the things uh, that I've noticed uh, playing against Tez is that his like strategy a lot of the time is that he wants to just like jump back, call assist, and then air dash over. And obviously he's he's not really like close enough to air dash over here, but like he's still sort of air dashing in. And so I decided like, okay, I'm just going to hard call out, I'm going to like hard call this. I can see him in the air. I don't think he's going to just land back on the ground. I'm pretty sure he's going to air dash. So I just did jump A. And I actually got the counter hit here, which is sick. Uh, <laughs> anyway. So, and like, I, I sort of like, in that moment, I was like, yes, this is, I knew he, I like prepared for this. I knew that this was something that I had to sort of look out for. I got it straight off the bat, and I like felt really good about that. That I would get like this early lead in this way. Uh, so, so I get the corner Harry. I don't get him like completely all the way to the corner. Uh, like that. I think Orbiter only gets one hit. Bond level. No, it doesn't. Okay, Orbiter hits him. Uh, not Orbiter. Pal uh, fuck, what's it called? Uh, Lotus. So here, this is something that like I decided to just do the low just to get hide in. Uh, this is kind of, this is something I do a lot, like, if he just blocks hide assist, I just do, you know, 2C, car switch, just to get hide in. Because I think, like, hide's pressure in the corner is pretty good. Uh, Tez, like, historically has always said that he is more afraid of hide than he is of you, just because of, like, the reverse speed and the stagger. And, like, I guess obviously doesn't have good options to contest it, really. Uh... <clears throat> So I feel like just getting hide in here in the corner is like pretty good for me. Fire on Jedi. Right. <laughs> the most important. Nice. Okay, that was good by me as well. Uh, Do you think people fuck? have to be right. the same to belong? Not at all. No. Diversity and uniqueness is the most important factor. Okay. If we were all the same, it would be pretty bland. This is this is a good ad. I am pro diversity Part of the and team uniqueness. Is that's on. The bond level is. Okay. Anyway. So, oh, by the way, I should also mention that my voice is kind of fucked because I was, like, yelling a lot yesterday. Wait, no. Yeah, yesterday. Because uh, my boy, Ben Gold, won Smash Ultimate. And I was cheering for him, and tight, and and also Spud. I was cheering for Spud as well. And, <laughs> yeah, my, my voice is kind of dead. <laughs> my mom said that, like, it sounded better, so I should just, like, every time I go home, just, like, scream so my voice can just be always deep. Anyway, uh... So what was I talking about? Fire on Jedi. <laughs> now, something that like Tez also does is that he is very good at taking throws, and he like looks for the throws. So I decided, okay, I'm going to franchise. The most and I get it. <clears throat> and that's something that like Tez and I have that sort of relationship there, where we like we play a lot, and we sort of like uh, open to discuss our games and like give suggestions to each other and like tell each other what else weaknesses are uh, like you know he he tells me like the stuff that he's more afraid of and i tell him like what stuff i struggle with because like to me yeah i could sort of like not tell him that but i feel like it's more important to you know raise the level of the scene overall than it is to just win uh okay so he immediately bursts which is fine i'm okay with this here i like i'm not going to try to bait it like, it doesn't matter what part of the team come? Okay. So Position is: away. Do they have matching colors? Now, this is kind of the problem: is that like I feel like high point uh, is good when he's like in the corner, but when he's not 
in the corner. Uh, the problem is just that like Narakami's assists at full screen are just not as good as the other way around. Like if Narakami is quick. So I think I if I was smart, I'd be trying to look for an opportunity to switch back to you. I don't remember if I'd do it in this game. Uh, okay. Tez hasn't been able to run a solid hit yet. So, nice toga by him. Toga. Oh, no, he doesn't get confirmed. Off the that could have been big. Watch out. Uh, something that I think Tez is like a little bit uh, needs to mix up a bit is that he sort of does the 2A, 5A with Jin. Like, like he just sort of like dials it in a lot when you really could mix it up a bit better. Like I think if you just did like two A throw or just like straight throw like something else, like even five C then I would be that would like throw me off, but I sort of know when I block Jin, I can just like block and push block a lot of the time. Uh so here I get uh uh you in. Put a mix up, run forward. Oh my gosh, a lot of that throw here. Yeah. Oh, but it's so fucking good. Alright, so I feel like a lot of the damage I, I get against him is just from Orbiter hitting his assists. Uh, that's one of the things I sort of like changed a bit compared to when I played him before. Uh, before, I sort of used Orbiter, Orbiter really liberally because I thought, okay, I want to keep it so I can use it on reaction to certain things. But I decided to change it up to like, I should just spam it all the time because it's, it's just that good. And I think that really worked out for me as well. Uh, so, uh, this is me CCing. Now, I don't know. So, that's like really interesting. I don't think that I've ever done that before of like the second hit of like them blocking the first hit, then getting hit by the overhead, then the second hit still allowing the combo. I think that was all the block string, which is pretty good. I actually should probably do that more. Uh, so, that's cool. So, I got the combo. Uh, I the best whiffs, but I can't punish it. I wasn't like trying to bait it or anything. Did I punish? Okay. Ooh, that was. Uh, I'm assuming that was probably a push block attempt. Uh, because I just did the single five A, so I don't think that was he was trying to DP. Oh, that's bad. Bad. Uh, funny thing about Agus DP is that it leaves it airborne, which means I can do this. Bad. Oh. Uh, and Agus is gonna die. Got no assist. Hide. Nah, he's got no assist. Oh, he couldn't oh, cancel off the DC. Okay, so here I'm just gonna get hide in. Which I really shouldn't do because he has a lot of red health, so this was just bad for me. I shouldn't do this. Like I kind of a lot of the time I I one of the things I'm bad at is I need to pay more attention to like my gauges and what stuff I have. But it's like the match is so fast, you a lot of the time you don't have time to look at that. So I really need to be better at it though. Because I just I just autopilot this and I get hide in. Which is like this is still okay. Like having hide in against Igus in the corner is pretty good. But just in, because I had, you know, such so much red health on high, I probably shouldn't have done this. Dude, that air Zion to kill Aegis? Uh, actually, yeah, he might have been able Okay, so, uh, nice. He was trying to just do the, uh, you know, uh, 2C brick, 2B plus brick. Get, hit, get him with a 5B, Aegis is dead. Yeah. Okay, switch back. I get hit by the burst. Uh, I get hit by an incoming, I care. And he's, yeah, he's got 5 meter, we would have been able to do it. Yeah, so uh, I like do this to pretty much. This is just my like level one mix up on resonance, is just to just air dash assist, uh, and it does work on people who don't know it. Tez obviously knows I'm gonna do it, so he blocks it. Uh, here's me popping CC. I really like. I feel like this is not the better thing to do. Uh, well, anyway, like in current patch, there's a lot of times in the tournament where I try to go for CC even though I shouldn't and the only reason I shouldn't is because my actual like CC mix-ups are not nearly practiced enough to be like Tom good and I just shouldn't even bother I should just like save it even though like it is good it's like technically it's the optimal thing to do if you have a sandwich to go for the CC but just like because I, I, I just haven't practiced enough in current patch that I shouldn't do it and killer. but this was a missive but I was trying to jump C whatever it works anyway. The thing is that you can't okay. DHC up Leodine because it doesn't knock them down. Oh, Hides on the Nice to you yeah, yeah, he should be able to hit that high with Jaya. I was going for a wrestle. I don't know what he did, I probably jumped. Ah, uh, yeah, because I had just popped in like right next to him. Yeah, I always thought it spawned on the point character. That's something else Tez is also complaining about is that if, like, usually 
against Narakami, against if, with a throw tech. Like even if he techs, it's like my advantage because my five A will reach and his button stone. So that's Narakami's a good character. <laughs> that's all I can say. Uh, I mean, that would make sense because all you have is super that like on the other side of the screen yeah. is like. I don't know. Hey, what that, that's to do. not gonna work. I don't know. Good logic. Whatever. Yeah. Take this. Get I link taking that. Okay, so that was a pretty quick game one. I was pretty happy about that. Okay. Because like I mean. I, I had no idea how the set was going to go. I wasn't thinking what I was going to win it on. So, like, having a pretty, like, convincing fast first game, like, felt really good. Okay. <clears throat> has got to be careful here. He's got to watch out for this one. Okay, so, uh, he does the jump C. Hyde gets hit. That's okay. I can do that. But, like, the cost is that he does, like, use his assist. Uh, he actually spent a bar, which I think he probably didn't need to. I mean, like, he, like, spent the, uh, the assist cage. Uh, so here I get in, make him block. So, like, yeah, Hyde got hit, but I still have moving, so that was alright for me. Uh, good block by him. So here's me just autopiloting into this again. But, like, I mean, it's, it's fine, I guess. Good tech, okay. Uh, that's something that Tez is, like, he's really good at taking. Uh, he, I can't, like, throw him that easy. Nice throw so. tech. Okay, that even though I got hit by the assist, that was still okay. Trade. That's actually good for Tez. Back to that's so this is the problem in this matchup is that like a lot of time I get him to the corner, but if I can't keep him in the corner, then I have to like play a high full screen, which I don't. Uh, so that's why really I probably shouldn't try to be switching him in all the time. Uh, but whatever. Give, uh, give him the space to move back. Like okay, that. so I happened to I hit Jin, which ended the CC. I still got hit. That's that's okay. I made him spend his bar, which I think is pretty fun. That cross combo, like it. So this is another thing that I was talking about is that like he just he dials in the two A five A, and I actually punish it somehow. I don't know if this I I, I didn't expect it to be punishable, uh, but for some reason I hit him. And Use machine. I got him with the like the assist combo as well. I think I've messed up the combo. Can't cover that gin, but now Yeah, I was trying to do yeah, <laughs> whoops. Okay. I was trying to do like five BBB, then two and four BBB. I accidentally like just went straight to two and four and then I like didn't want to press the rest of the button, so they just got nothing. Okay. Getting caught. Big drop by Jedi. So, I don't know how that hit me. I was probably trying to two B but it just it was just there. Yeah, uh, yeah, he was just too far, whatever. I guess, like, that's the kind of thing that you need to be cognizant of when you're too far to do a different combo. Like, that kind of thing. Um, so here's me switching uh, Narakami back. I guess it's partially because Hyde had a lot of red health. That was probably the main reason. Really, a lot of the times when I switch is just because of the red health. But I do need to sort of, like, be better at, like, switching based on the matchup. And particularly, like, keeping Narakami in with Hyde Assist is pretty good. Valuable a lot of the time. That's something I need to like be more aware. Misses the two B. So here I actually managed to get him with the five A throw. Now this is something that like I do a lot because you know it does catch people a lot, and even if they tech, like I mentioned before, it's still pretty my favor if they tech. So it's pretty good. But it like it does catch them sleeping all the time. <coughs> it's uh it's good. Nothing off that. Okay. Did I get the throw? What did I do here? Yeah, Dian. I. Sh Probably shouldn't have done this because I I knew it wasn't gonna kill, but I did it anyway for some reason. This is like kind of what I was talking about before. Is that just I did some I just did bad things like I'll, I'll say quote unquote like objectively wrong. It's like I shouldn't have done this if it wasn't gonna kill. Fuck! Oh my god! I didn't see that. Shit! Hang on. All right, where was I? It's not that. Uh, okay, what's this? What's this is? Okay, that's grand finals, that's too far. Okay, I'm sorry, I clicked something. Uh, I would say I'd edit this out, but I'm not gonna. Like, that means I have to put it into Vegas and then like re-render the whole thing. Chase like fucking three hours. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, Use machine. Yeah, Did I get the throw? Actually, here's the tech. Instead of trying to click, I'm just gonna fucking press the space bar. That's way better. The yeah, iron? Is he gonna? No, he doesn't have the meter to do the HD there. All right. So I, I, I like in these kind of situations when people have such low health like this, I'm just like, okay, I want them to jump and I'll just TP them. And that's because that's like a really easy way of finishing people off when they're at super low health. 
And I saw that he jumped, but I was nowhere near close enough, so that was just bad by me. DP coming uh, in. Oh. Yeah. Bad by me. Thankfully, his super doesn't hit, so I get away with it. Whiffs the super. Okay. Get that uh, I don't know what that was. I think I was trying to push block. I just did too late. Whoops. Here we go. Big punish. Got an assist. He's got two bars. This is this good. Is so I've kind of like fucked this game up pretty hard, like doing those two DPs like that. I think like vividly said in the chat. Actually, uh, <laughs> Nah looks like Jede is the better player, at least until he did DP. Yeah, I I agree with you, vividly. Those DP pretty sus. Okay, shit. Oh, hang on. Um. Right here. Not gonna be able to kill so I tech away. Now, uh, this is like a trap. If you tech in, uh, you get hit by. Well, you have to like block the right way, obviously. But I've I've seen like people get hit by this. I think I saw someone else in the tournament play Tez. They tried to tech out and they got hit by the Chin Five Three. Uh, obviously, you just have to like block the right way. But uh, it's kind of it's obviously I I prefer to just tech into the corner. Just you know, don't want to deal with the. the Right, I can. I mean, like against Igus, you're fucked either way if you're in the corner or not. <laughs> so it's better to at least eliminate the left rights than it is to you know, allow it. Um, oh, but there's a mix up. So I don't know. He, I managed to jump and air block. So he must have not done his thing tight enough. I don't know exactly what. Um, nice blocking, fuzzy jump out of there. Oh my! How the fuck did I get hit there? Okay, whatever. I guess Narakami buttons, as good as they are, they're not that ascended. Gosh, it's hitting the extended hurt box. I guess not in danger. First, I could have punished it. Actually, maybe I couldn't have. Maybe Hyde was still, like, too soon. Like, he left the screen just too, like, recently. I'm not sure. Uh, okay, oh, I, I gotta get this guy around. really have... Now... Oh, on the... Oh my fucking god, I did it again. Okay. Bad, he can kill off this. He has the meter. So... I'm so sorry. Now Darby. Uh, Darby getting overwhelmed. Alright. Uh, oh, don't get the minutes. He opponent. I'm not gonna know what Cover that. But then it hurt. Alright. Really so here I'm thinking, okay, I'll switch. Uh, hide in. However, uh, what I did not uh, think about is that even though, even though I hit him with the Zeo and it knocks him down. Have he still has enough time to wake up Toga and kill Narukami. That was just like, that was another objectively wrong thing. I should not have done that. Uh, I should have been aware that like doing that just doomed Narukami to die. Um, so and I didn't even, I think I didn't even have enough meters to foul him. I did, but I didn't for some reason. Collects the assist. Things are still working out, but you gotta be careful. Kid now on his low HP. So I don't really have that good of an answer to. What to do when he like jumps out like that? Um, because when after the orbiter, I am plus, but I'm not plus enough that I can stop him from jumping. So if anything, I can like and like I can two B, but I have to like time it really well to hit him like mid air dash. So uh, I'll have to think more about the situation. Like what else I can do? Is this is kind of bad that they can just get out of the corner that easily. I, I need to figure out a better solution. Very scary. Can't even just take a jab. All right, so that was sick by me. Uh, that's the uh, the classic. Is that the uh, <clears throat> I just start running forward. Then he thinks I'm gonna throw. I just like jump. Uh, there we go. Now on his low HP. Very scary. Can't even just take a jab. All right, I didn't even really run forward, but he th he thought I was gonna throw. Um, then I jumped over, really, I should have neutral jumped, so I could punish outright. I guess what I was thinking is that, I was thinking, like, I would just, like, do the, the, um, stupid, like, jump over, A dash back mix up. I didn't think he would try to throw a tech, but it worked out anyway. So, I killed... Go, ready to block. Okay, I don't know why I did that. Um, I, I guess that's, like... That's the counter to if they try to immediately throw or like immediately. Uh, although really, I should I can just like two A like midi two A like there's no reason to jump C there. I can't even convert jump C even if it counter hits. I can't combo it. So that was just bad by me. That's another case of me just doing something completely wrong. He's might have regretting that panic. Okay, uh, he gets hit, but thankfully, uh, thankfully for him, he wasn't. 
Okay. He, I don't know why he didn't get counter hit. Whatever. Good tag. Nice. He's got the yeah, hit. He's got the astral. Whoa. This is something that, like, uh, Nar after, like, Narukami Rotec, I can 5A and it will catch them. But with Hide, it doesn't quite work the same way. I can 5B, but he jumped out. Right, I mean. EX, that's bad. Jedi could have astral yeah. that, I guess. Uh, so the commentator said I could have astral. I don't think I could have. I don't think it hits that high. I I didn't want to try. Uh, yeah, whatever. I wonder if Hyde would reach high enough to catch the missiles with it. I really hope it did. Oh, it would have. Okay, I don't know why I didn't block where. Yeah. Uh, I think that's just like. Sometimes I just don't block where for no reason. So maybe he just tries. Okay, nice. I see. Still gonna be alive. I I wonder if Marvelous would have killed. That'd be funny if Marvelous would have killed. Excellent, dude. Excellent. Not Marvelous. Okay. Um. I here's me doing another bad thing. So you can do like the backdash safe jump off if you do like the earliest possible crash. But if I tried to actually time it and failed, and you don't get as much advantage off that, so you can't do the backdash safe jump. So I tried to do it anyway, and it doesn't work. So that's why I just gave up advantage. Bad by me. Head I got hit by that, head. I don't know why. Shout out to Marvelous, I need a new Harvest Moon game. Uh, okay. He's gotta be careful here. Good tag. Two bars from Jedi Link, if he does something in middle, he can get Pale Bring it on reaction. Okay. This is where I really wish they had player cams, because when I got this DP, I like fucking jumped off in my chair. I was like so happy. Because if this, if I did this like slightly too late, it would have been, I would have been super dead. But like, and if I had died, it would have been one one. But since I got that, it was two zero to me, and I was like, okay, I've got momentum here. I'm I'm gonna fucking win. Okay, <laughs> that was just, <laughs> that was just raw reaction. I was like, okay, I see him. I'm gonna press the DP button. DP can get DP. Yes. I I was like I was super feeling myself. Uh, that was fun. Okay, last game. Uh, spoiler, it's the last game. I, I 3 0 do lose. Okay. <clears throat> so, I just did the same thing. I did the, um, I did the Palebringer round start. He tried to call Jin. Jin got hit. That's why just spamming. Not Palebringer. Orbiter. Spamming Orbiter is so good. It's like, why didn't I just always do this? It's so OP. Uh, uh, and here's the other thing, actually. Okay. Hang on, I need to go back a bit. Um, so, why? I don't. Why? How did he block? Was he blocking like the behind hit of the orbiter? I actually have no idea what happened here. That's crazy. I didn't even notice the first time I watched this that like he blocked the orb. I think he must have blocked the orbiter. I didn't press anything else. So, like, look at this. What is this shit? Orbiter is OP. If you need any further evidence that Orbiter is OP, there you go. Okay, so here's another thing. Um, I was telling Tez before the tournament that I had some secret tech that I wasn't going to tell him about. And, like, this was, like, half serious, half a joke. I was, and he was like, oh, you're just pretending you have secret tech. It's just like, you know, and I was like, shit, he saw right through it. Uh, but, like, it was, like, it was also kind of half serious because, like, I did have, like, kind of new tech but it was it's just like so mundane that it's not really secret tech so all it is is that i just do jump c and cc to confirm it and for some reason i've never thought of doing this before until now and it's it's just like such an obvious thing you can do but i just never have done it before <clears throat> so that was the secret tech that's it <laughs> Can he pick up? And he immediately bursts. Now, this is the other act this is the other part of it actually is that like uh because I have never done this, like I've never done this to him before, he probably like wasn't ready, he didn't know what to do. He thought he could immediately burst, which it turned out he could not. So this is kind of like where I got a big early lead in this last game. Because like I did the thing and then he tried to burst and it didn't work. Uh, Although I didn't get like that good of an early lead, I didn't get a massive punish of it because obviously I didn't have my source. But like, still, I mean, uh, he's in the corner. It's it's pretty good for me. Really bad. So here's the uh, yeah, overhead. Good block on the overhead. 
will punish, but it's a punish. But like, <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, try again. If you, if you block it, just do it again. That's why, I mean, Narukami's a good character. Just do the overhead stuff with him. He's in a bad position here, now he's got a heal. So here I went low, um, I guess, to get hide in. I mean, like, it was also kind of just like a mix up, because I did overhead the last two times, so I was like, okay, I'll just do low this time. Uh, and he blocked low, so I get high in. I decided to just wait, because uh, I thought he might try to, like, uh, uh, Toga. Even though he didn't have enough meter for Toga. So that's another case of me, uh, like, not looking at the meters. Uh, and there'll, there'll be more cases in this tournament of me not looking at the meters, which I will point out. So that's something that, like, I really do need to step up, uh, which I will try to work on. So here he's trying to call, uh, I guess, which is a commendable uh, idea, but unfortunately it just gets, I guess, hit. And look at that chip! Okay, like that does that does not insignificant chip, and Hydes is a good character as well. Okay, so good block. This is something, actually another thing I need to do is, I need to do like, sometimes I need to do, just do 2B um, DP. Because I'm pretty sure that would hit him if I did that. Uh, I'll have to like test if there's some situations where they'll be able to like block the DP. I'm pretty sure most of the time they wouldn't though. Uh, that's something I do need to sort of work into my game as well. Uh, but like at the moment I always do with 2 n And all the time it's just blocked and I get nothing off. So I'll have to like figure out the situations where it makes sense to go for the deep. An angry silverback. Okay. Uh, so I don't know what he was trying to do, but he obviously got kind of hit. I think like this is the kind of the point where it's the last game of the set. Your character's about to possibly die, and you're like stressing out. He was he was probably like majorly on tilt. Yeah. Here's the burst. Bad burst. You can't burst there because I have my assist still. So that that's just like that's just a panic burst, hundred percent. Uh, and oh. I failed the combo, uh, whatever. Oh, uh, yeah, that is too far out for the fight. Okay, that hit Jin as well. <laughs> Why can the heights 2 be so good? Okay. Alright, I think, like, I think Tez was, like, kind of reacting badly to this. Like, he was like, WHAT?! I don't know, he, he has some exaggerated reactions. Like, even though we were on a head-to-head -head setup, uh, I could still, like, hear him, you know, yelling shit out while we were playing. It's, like, kind of funny. And, like, it's kind of... Uh, it was kind of like comforting, I suppose, to me, that like, when I know that he's on tilt, um, it just gets me even more pumped to win. So here, I can probably win the game if I do the combo right. Maybe, gets her. Which I do not, uh, okay. Oh, the gentler got got. Don't give up, anything can- Alright, so here's another case where I did a CC, even though I shouldn't have, because I just don't have the, the mix-up skin. Happen. Coach by just- And here, I just got hit by the fucking- Okay. Right. But like at this point, he is so behind that like it doesn't matter. I'm I'm gonna win. Okay. Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah. I think that should be it. And that's actually another thing is that like the ca this is the this is the way you beat Igus. This is the count of Igus. <laughs> you just jump and call your assist. Because, like, no matter what, she can only cover either the ground or the air. She can't cover both at once. So, like, either she's gonna, she's gonna, like, do the bullets, like the, the, the 2B, the anti-air bullets, and she's gonna get hit by the assist, or she's gonna do the machine gun, and then I'm gonna hit her. So, like, this is the way, like, when I guess is solo in neutral, it's just, this is how you do it. That's it. Okay. That should be it. <coughs> easy, gonna kill. So yeah. I ended up 3 yeah, him. Uh, I was really happy about that. that, that uh, little bit of hope. I accidentally hit the share button. Uh, uh, yeah. I don't know, because like I, I was have... the stick that I was using in the tournament was not my stick. I was borrowing it, and um, I'm not like used to the buttons, so I hit the share button back to I don't know if it, it, maybe they thought I was trying to like save the replay or something, but that's not why I just like, pressed it back. Actually, maybe, maybe, no, it was probably me, I don't think he pressed it. I don't know. 
Javi versus Jace. Okay. Screen. That's my set versus Tez. And, like, after that set, he looked sad. He was, like, he had full frown on his face. And, like, he just held out, like, a limp fist. He was not, like, trying to go, like, oh, good for this man. He was just, like, he was upset. <laughs> and, like, I don't know, I feel bad for him, but I also, like, seeing him that upset just made me feel better because I, you know, like I mentioned before, I, I knew that that just made my chances to win all the more better if he was, like, on tilt. Okay, anyway, let's skip ahead. I want to go to my games with really uh, here it is. I'm reactable. <laughs> All right, this is game one. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so Harvey, uh, I I I think the commentators say at some point that like, oh yeah, they probably play each other a lot, which is completely not the case. I have only played Harvey like a handful of times. Uh, he rarely plays online. Uh, because obviously he plays like a bunch of games, BB Tag is sort of like lower on his priorities. He's still pretty damn good at it, uh, even though he doesn't obviously like lab it or play it much. I, going into the tournament, I was significantly more afraid of Tez than I was of Harvey. I thought I would beat Harvey pretty easily, which turned out to not be the case because my set with him was actually like scarily close. Uh, I managed to clutch it, which I was happy about, but I, it was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. <clears throat> uh, the thing with Harvey is that, okay, so he plays Makoto. Uh, Makoto, obviously, uh, often considered one of the worst characters in the game, but she does have pretty good solo damage, so if you, like, make mistakes and she punishes you, you can still, you know, take damage, and if that happens enough, you will lose the game. So, against Harvey, like, really, all I'm thinking is that I just need to, like, not make mistakes, and that's how I will beat him. And but it's like surprisingly hard to not make mistakes because obviously I'm I'm not perfected in my craft. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so round start versus Makoto. I don't know why he round starts Makoto. I guess because he just loves Makoto. He wants to play Makoto first. I, don't know. I think I would assume that Ruby is probably a better round start. I actually I actually do not know what frame Makoto's five A is. Uh, I should have looked that up before the tournament, and I didn't. I did not do my homework, I did not really give Javi any respect, because I thought I would just beat him easily. So I didn't really put any effort into like trying to learn how to find him. Uh, so, but I decided that I just wanted to play pretty safe at round start, because I just, you know, like I mentioned before, the way you will lose is by making mistakes, and if I just open myself up to getting happy birthday, that is how I will lose super fast. So I decided, I'm just going to do, I think I just I was going to just do Orbiter and Block. <laughs> Alright. Getting into the match. <laughs> Which is what I do, so I block, here's the orbiter. Hyde gets hit. Uh, so, ultimately, this is probably. N maybe I should have just blocked, or like just tried to back off without trying to call an assist. Maybe this was like too aggressive. Uh, but whatever, that's not too bad. I'm start from Javi. Push block him out. I actually managed to hit him. Uh, I don't know, that was, a, that was a 5B, wasn't it? So, with 5B. That's the tricky thing in this game, like, push blocking is so good. Uh, I'm actually like a little bit glad that it's getting nerfed in the patch because as it is, it's it's just it's too easy to just punish stuff just by push blocking, running up and buttoning. Which is exactly what I do here. So even though he had the pressure, I mean it's fucking his fault, so I'm not gonna like say it's the game's fault. He shouldn't have done he shouldn't have went five B. But a good push block. So uh, I decide to not spend my assist. Uh, a lot of the times I decide, like, if I know that they're just going to burst it, I decide to just not use it. Um, because the thing is that, like, I want them to not burst, because if I burst, then they get Oki, which is, like, I don't want to be in a disadvantage situation. I'd rather be in, like, neutral than in disadvantage. Even if I have the resource advantage by having more, like, assist gauge, by making bases assist gauge, I think it's better for me to just stay in neutral. So that's why I sort of just, like, decide to keep, just, like, just do the short combo and maintain neutral. And then? So I do this. Uh, this is a sort of a classic thing I do. Uh, is that after, like, uh, B slide, if they take away, they're pretty far away, but you can A slide, which will catch them low. And, like, if they. I'm pretty sure it's, like, it's not, like, tight or anything. If they jump, they'll just jump away. But all the time, people will not expect to get hit low. Or in this case, you got counter hit. I don't know what he's pressing. 
But uh, I guess so. Here I'm trying to go for the TB to get the combo, but it didn't work out. I don't know why exactly. I possibly I was too close to the corner. So like, what you want to do is like you want it to like get all the hits of the slide and then get the orbiter so you can have time to recover. But if you're like too close to the corner, the orbiter will hit too soon. So this was possibly just I didn't judge this right. Um. <clears throat> So here I dropped the combo, and this is really bad because this is just this is exactly what I'm talking about. I made a mistake. Here yeah, I'm gonna take a bunch of damage. Kind of for some reason. I'm still gonna how much damage it was. This is not okay. I I could burst, so it ended up not being too bad. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't try to bait it. I guess like he probably doesn't care that much. Like you know he's he's in the lead. Well he's not in the lead, but like he he got a punish. He made me burst. He made me waste my burst. So whatever. Good Jedi, but nope. What the fuck did he press? Why was he pressing something on Lika? But this was actually possibly the biggest brain strat because because he got counter hit. I was expecting him to block. I wanted him to block so I could do throw 5A or 5A throw. But because he got hit, the throw whiffs and then I get punished again. So I'm really mad like that him being dumb and pressing buttons and getting counter hit led to me you know, getting punished. I gave him too much respect. I don't know. That was that was just stupid. Mm. I think this game was not. I think I kind of got a bit destroyed this game. The thing about Jedi's team is that he has the HP deficit evenly spread, or he did, but now Hyde's taking a beating. Yeah. So, uh, actually, I wonder. Maybe, maybe Makoto doesn't have solo damage. Maybe that's I've just made it up because he does. He he's using the system. I don't know much about Makoto. Uh, I haven't really like labbed her or played her against her much. Uh, so, but anyway, she does she does do good damage. On, I mean, not like good damage. But, like, the point is that if you get hit, you'll take damage, obviously. Anyway, Bite you is healing, which is good. So here's push block five B. This does not punish him, but I get pretty decent damage off this. Enforced pressure. I try to do this dude like the. Throw active switch. I did it too early. I think I've done. I think I do it a few times in the tournament. I try to do it and I do it too early, like every time, because the last hit of the um, the last hit of U six P has more block stun than I expect. And I would say, oh yeah, I'll practice this, but obviously the six P is about to get changed. R I P. So it's not going to be relevant pretty soon. Sure. Makoto running straight. So here I'm just trying to back off to neutral. I didn't want to like because I didn't have my assist, so I couldn't have done a mix up. So I was Pass with the grab. And I feel like if I just can stay in neutral against Makoto, it's yeah. I mentioned this before. It's pretty you know that's where I'd rather be. Um, All right, Ruby's in. Ruby's good. I'd rather just like play low risk, I suppose. Stalling. Okay, Ruby is a significantly better character than Makoto. Ruby's she's pretty strong. So. But Javi runs I in. managed to confirm off the uh, orbiter. I wonder if I could do something better here. The only thing I could do better was I could probably do C slide, which I guess is is probably no. I guess I only had one bar, so maybe I shouldn't have done. So maybe it's fine just getting the knockdown. He gets hit by orbiter. So here's me throwing out orbiter. Now backdash uh, zero, air backdash zero. Air backdash zero is pretty good. It's like pretty safe because you land and it cancels the recovery. Uh, maybe you don't land, but like it has less recovery than the ground version. Like I don't think you like land cancel; it just has naturally less recovery in the air version. Gets hit. Good. So five way throw. It's uh, pretty good. Jump out. Bad gets thrown. And five way throw is something that like I never really did that much until I like I watched some like high level play and I saw people do. I should do it. Knocked down. Uh, okay. So here, this was really good by him. Like so. I got the knockdown, I do the classic thing I do, which is like backdash plus assist, and then I have the 50-50. But if I do the overhead, it leaves a gap. And I thought, okay, I I haven't played Harvey in a while, he doesn't know what I do. He's not going to like expect the overhead, so I can do the overhead, but he actually, he's ready for it, and he reversals. And I, it makes me wonder, like, in this moment, I was like thinking, okay, was he like watching my matches? Did he see me do that? And... I can't rule out that he possibly did, so that was that's good on him if he did do that. Um, 
But he does pedal burst, which is the wrong option because oh, raging line catches. Pedal burst does not hit both characters. Or oh, like the first hit hits you, but the other hits don't. Both of them involves right throw it. Uh, however, Hyde fucking dies. So uh, if he had done pedal dance, I would have been in a much worse off position. But like even still, that was still like pretty good by him. Like to do the reversal there and kill Hyde. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Big Bang Smash. You dropped out of that. Okay, I don't know if I fucking... Good throw, that was really like, you know, that was just really good awareness of like, when someone gets counter hit, of course they give this, this fucking fuck. You just throw them. Really? I thought he got hit, but oh, like... No, 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 because the first hit, um, <laughs> the pedal row thing doesn't actually catch uh, the I, Oh. Oh, yeah. I dropped out. But however... Right. Yeah. Makoto's 5B is a very good anti air and I did not respect it. Uh, I, because I don't play against Makoto much, I forget, like, oh yeah, this character has an actually very good anti -air. And I just tried to press the falling button, I got an anti -air. lost first game. Yeah, they changed that though, didn't they? Next uh, match? I don't know. Me neither. I don't read patch notes. Me neither. I don't read frame data. <laughs> oh, I just, when I got the patch notes, I just scrolled down to Weiss and his and I was like, <laughs> fixed yeah. Weiss. And you're like, I don't believe it. <laughs> Alright. So that is one for Javi, if I remember correctly. So this round start, I decided to do Pale Ring. I don't. I wonder if maybe I probably was trying to do six P. I don't usually do just like raw Pale Ring round start. I don't remember what I was thinking. But uh, now I get the sandwich. I choose to not CC off it, which I think is the correct choice, as I mentioned before, because I, I just don't yeah. know the mix ups. Um. So this is like. I feel like this is not like Harvey. I feel like Harvey is like too good of a player to just like do, you know, air dashes in like that. Uh, that's something that like sort of a lot of times I'm just gonna like try to wait at air dash range to see if they will do it because it's kind of like it's to borrow a phrase that I hate. It's a chump check. Like people, that's just like a basic level one option. So I'll just try to air dash in. So I'm just like, okay, please do it so I can anti air you. And to to my surprise, Harvey does it, and I just anti air him. I don't know why he did. I feel like he's like too good of a player to be doing basic stuff like that. So, but whatever, we take this. The strong star. Now, I don't quite get the corner. Uh, this is good by him mixing up his tech. I uh, thought he was going to take away. He did not. He knocked out. First jump C. Uh, Orbiter is really good. Orbiter will blow through Ruby 6P and hit Ruby and knock her down. Uh, yeah, Orbiter is really good. Just sp spamming Orbiter is the best strategy in the game. Nice. I don't know why he got hit. He was probably trying to jump again. But whatever, we take this. Okay. Alright. Now. Oh no! Oh. A bit too late. Now, the commentators, like, a few times, they get surprised about U2B being ineffective against Burst. But U2B is actually garbage against Burst. I think it, it might even be bugged, because it will never be Burst ever. Uh, I've never had it beat a Burst. Like, <clears throat> I don't know. Anyway. So an anti air couldn't involve Roy. Is uh me spamming orbiter, you know, it just gets hit, it's very good. Yeah. I don't know why he gets hit by the um uh, the back dash CO, I guess whatever. I did the A Z O so it didn't knock him down. Uh I don't know if I probably was like for some reason expecting him to be more stunned than he was, and that's why I got counted. Oh, confident mash A. Uh good throw take by me, I'm so good. Okay. That. Okay, I was, I was, I'm sure I was trying to pale bring it instead of orbiter there, which would have gotten combo. So, you has a better one. I mean, it's bigger. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's the other anti air. I think I was too far away to go. Uh, whatever, that's fine. That's still good damage. But Ruby's one pretty far. That's and there's another one. Like, I don't know why this keeps happening. Why did you just keep jumping in on me? Uh, yeah, like I was really surprised that you just kept doing it. True. So right, here I decided to get hide in, which was like, you know, it's whatever, it's fine. Uh, good block. Good block. So he has like he had pretty good blocks on the five C's, I think. Uh gets out, pretty good by him. Now uh, yeah, again, this is the problem. I don't want to be hide in this matchup. So can this team punish Ruby? This is really bad. <laughs> this is me not respecting that he could just push block and run it. I was not expecting him to do that. Be full screen super. Thankfully, I oh, fell out. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Right. I don't know what that was trying to be. 
I don't remember if I was like trying to push block a second time and I was just mashing it too hard. Or if I was actually earnestly trying to DP him. Either way, I'm bad. Yeah. Ooh. They have so many ways to punish him. Zaya. That was a really good punish by him, like doing the neutral call of the assist. That's the kind of thing that like you would expect that someone who doesn't play BB tag would not do that, but Harvey does do it, so that's really good by him. Uh, good shit to like you know, despite him not really playing the game much, he does do good things still. Dime, pale bringer, run up very fast. <laughs> run up very He uh, does not get the punish. Very fast, I love it. <laughs> well, Oh, Ooh, there's the, the delay orbiter that I love so much. Well, I mean, it's just like, you know, it's either I'm going to whiff to A and you can take your turn, or I'm going to orbit it, which will frame that. It's just, it's just a 50-50, basically. And I did the orbiter. I like, I usually do the 2A more often, I think. So, a few people get caught off guard by the orbiter sometimes. <clears throat> what I could have been thinking about, actually, is I could have been thinking about, like, trying to just call my assist and active switch to get Narakami in. But uh, that's probably too risky, so yeah, I mean, it's probably, I probably shouldn't have done it. Try to get a punish there, but Orbiter, delay. Now, I was trying to, that 2B was trying to, that was supposed to be a uh, Wrecker. What's it called? Bacon Shift. Uh, and the commentators like were like, oh, nice cross up, but I did it wrong, so it wasn't a nice cross up. But he got hit anyway, so whatever. Nice, get oh, him no, the cross up. the lefty righties. Mm hmm. Yeah, okay. looking super strong this round. Okay. So Good. I'm really like not afraid of Makoto. <laughs> yeah. Blocks. He's hit with the second. Arc. It's funny that like he he like involved through the jump C, but he got hit by the system. Anyway. Oh. Overhead. <laughs> I think he did the um the slide. Really well. Yeah. The jump C roll. So here I I this is another case of me not looking at the bars. I thought I had more assist gauge. I was trying to do like my CC route when I could have just done two supers and and I would have won. I would have definitely killed. But I was like, okay, I'll do the CC combo, but I didn't have enough assist meter, so that's why... I think a raid yeah, line with with something. Okay, nice DP by me. Right. That was weird that he could tech out of that. I guess it was because he didn't counter hit. Like, because if, if it counter hits, and it's like that high up, you can combo off it. So I was trying to hit 5A to combo off it. It went the wrong direction for some reason, which probably would have made it not work anyway. But since it didn't counter hit... It didn't, you can't combo off it. I think that's, I actually haven't really thought about this before. I'm going to have to test this. I'm going to have to like write down stuff. And get to this. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, so what was the other thing? The other thing was like the pressure in high pressure. How to stop them from jumping out. Was, Uh, and now, uh, counter hit. Although this is gonna be difficult to test and train. Just have to make them like super jump and press a button. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is the value of like watching our matches again. You can see all the things that you do wrong or like situations that you don't know what to do and like go back and lab those and then you learn <coughs> with or without counting. Okay, let's continue. So uh both DP but a whiff punish. Mm-hmm. Good combo by Javi, this should heal. <laughs> punch, punch. Oh no, Ruby's gone. Punch! So in this situation, like I still felt pretty relaxed. Like even though he was doing damage to me, like just hitting one one thing. So I still had both my characters. I was feeling fine, and I had a lot of meter, obviously as well. Nice. It's an anti air tries to take character. Now this is a really weird thing that happened. Nice. So he hits hide, which is good. It's an anti. Now he hits the persona. Uh, so like when this happened, I thought I got hit. But then I saw that I blocked it, I was like, wait. But he hits the persona, and I wonder that maybe that put him in hit lag, which let me block this. That would be really funny if that's actually what happened. I can't, like, I'm not 100% sure on how it works, but if that's what happened, that's so funny. <laughs> uh, okay.
pass the tag character. Dead. We take Yeah. <laughs> so like yep, he did the final. right thing, but he yeah, just so got cheated. Or maybe best he was nine. like too far Is away. Because like obviously if it no, because like it did hit me still. It but it hit me when I was on the ground and could block. So I don't know, whatever. I don't know. It's I thought it's, a, best it's five, just a just weird through through a whole situation. bracket. Okay. Nah, no, I'm just kidding. I knew it was best of five, but Sweet. it, it crossed I was gonna say, whoever did, like, first of five in a tournament... So, in this game, I decided I'm gonna actually try to, like, 5 aggro this time. Because, like, the last two games, I went pretty defensive, and I thought, okay, maybe I'll try to go aggro this time. Didn't work out. This is the bullshit that, like, I'm just not familiar enough with Makoto that I don't have the reactions prepared to this move. So, he hits me with, like, this... This baits my Ania, I think. Wait. I was gonna say, whoever did like first to five in a tournament is. Yeah, he baited my Ania, and then I was like, okay, I just get hit by a jump, I need to block low. And then, so I'm blocking low and I just get hit. So, like, that's just a Makoto unfamiliarity thing. Mm -hmm. tournament. Um, but it's still probably only for 20 minutes. I was fucking not that. Okay. Right, what do we got? I guess I wonder if any of the money goes to Fiery. If, if the money goes to Fiery, I'm okay with this scenery. Yeah, Fiery's a cool guy. I respect him for running the Tide Town. I appreciate it. I, I said at the after party that I would buy him a Because uh, <clears throat> when Tez and I like did our money match, it wasn't really a money match. It was like the loser has to buy a Fiery Agent, and. And I won, so I don't know if he ended up doing it for the whole of it. Anyway, back into the match. So I don't remember what happened. I got hit by the the, the falling button. Yeah. So I decided to just not burst because I mean I guess it's like it's not that much more damage, and it's kind of risky when you're, you when you're in the air like that. It's really likely that the burst can be with that something that happens frequently. So. I did, didn't want to risk it. I'm not like familiar enough with this matchup, but I know if I can burst or not. I just didn't want to risk it. Nice. Why the fuck and did you do this? Minutes, right? Why did you do yeah, this? Yeah, it's been fucking right. Okay. Ooh, nice. Lockdown. Here you go. Watch the train. I did the... Uh, I didn't do my back dash right. I don't know why I just did that wrong. Like, I'm not supposed... That's supposed to be a neutral call. I'm supposed to be like back dash neutral call. I, whatever, it doesn't matter. So I get hide in, get some red life. So really, I think what I should do in this kind of situation is like I need to like keep really close to me. Okay, good. I can see that Jedi aware of Makoto being on point. Okay, good. Um. So I I wasn't sure like if the um. Because the thing is that when when you do 2B against bursts, like sometimes it will hit, but sometimes it will just whiff. Like either that, if like assuming you don't get hit by the burst, if you actually head and bomb through it, sometimes the 2B will hit and sometimes it will whiff. So I go into 5A because if it like whiffs, I will still keep pressure on block, and if it hits, I will combo. Whereas it's better damage to go straight into vacant shift, but if it whiffs, then they can block the vacant shift. And that was obviously very bad. So I'm okay with like losing a little bit of damage to this. Walk backwards and space the mm -hmm. This was a mistake. I'm pretty sure I was trying to. No, actually, I'm not sure. I don't know what I was trying to do. Uh, I was probably trying to do like uh, the CC combo, but I had no meter. Alright, trying to catch those anti airs. Oh, it's pressure though. Jedi not gonna kill. Not gonna have enough damage. You gotta spend the meter though. And here I, I did the same thing again. I was trying to do the super CC combo, I didn't have enough meter. Okay, I'm bad. Mm -hmm. Nope, doesn't matter. Good Jump C. It's his turn. I think right. I would have liked to see him spend a minute. So, that's fine. I'll take yeah, because that means that if he gets one of those straight overhead for a straight hit, Jarvi will win. We will take that. About, you know, I can't, I can't take a red. Okay, that'll kill. Yeah. It doesn't it. matter. Jedi's taking that game. So, I mean, you just got hit by assists. Yeah, he just got to respect assists mm -hmm. too. He was just so oppressive and in your face. It was just like... <clears throat> Every rebeat he did led to a pressure reset, 2B, anti-air, things like that. Just super nuts pressure. Jedi Link doing a good job of blocking down Jarvi. Jarvi getting overwhelmed. Uh, so this time I accidentally started hide. Uh, I don't know how I fucking... I just messed it up. Whoops. But I got you back in anyway, so it worked out okay. Alright. Oh, don't get the pick up. Mm-hmm. Oh, Shasta the, the assist. Dempsey roll, yep. with punish, nice push block, 
Oh, uh, try to do So, I don't know why Harvey, like, he just backs off. Uh, I mean, I guess that's a safe thing to do, but I feel like he should probably try to press his advantage. Uh, well, I mean, it's up to him whatever he wants to do. Because, like, a lot of the time I back off as well, but I feel like neutral is my favor here, so he should probably be trying to press his advantage. I don't know. Whatever. Because, like, fucking Ruby, she has, like, really good cross-up button. I don't know if uh, 5B is, like, A dash, jump B, or jump A. I don't know which one's the cross-up button. I think jump B. Uh, I don't know if that actually, like, works at that range. Uh, I can't say if I've ever, like, remember if that's happened to me or not. But, like, you probably should do something. I don't know. Whatever. Mm -hmm. blown up. Okay. Yeah, that's so... That was an interesting situation. Nice push block. Oh, nice So I accidentally did. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I was trying to do 4P. I don't know if I did was or not. Probably not. So the uh, so the 4P just does nothing. Got blown up. It, it does destroy Ruby's bullet, which is yeah, this doesn't matter. But then Hyde gets punched. Whereas if I had done Orbiter, obviously Makoto would have got hit. So that was just. I don't know. I think I just messed up. Clash? Ooh. Fucking Ruby's like buttons are so good. Why does that happen? Well, because. All right, this was me like. This that was just bad. Ooh. Clash? Why does that happen? Well, so I I blocked the Makoto. I didn't think it had that much block stun. Well, because. Uh, I don't know what I was trying to do, but obviously I got kind of. Ruby has good hitboxes. You know. <laughs> Yeah, but with, uh, with heart. Oh, it's double high. I'm hit by the double high. Um, Not high. Use 2A. Yeah, it's danger time. So there's the orbiter again. That's just like, anytime I can get orbit around, it just gets his assist. You know, like, when we're in neutral like this, just doing the assist wars, like, I'm gonna win on average. So that's kind of why I just want to keep that situation. <laughs> Oof. Alright. Good punch. So, Look at that. Uh, I tried to. He. That was really good by him. I tried to do the back off TV. He just ran straight up and hit me. I don't know if like he hard called that out or if that just like worked out for him. But either way, I could hit. That was like me being a little bit reckless. Because like the, the jump back Zio had worked uh, you see, uh, quite a few times. But this is like the first time that didn't. I got really punished for it. At that run speed. Zoom, oh, zoom, zoom. No. Uh, a combo dropped out low as well. Drop the jump cancel though. Okay, so that was just a case of like I was too far away that the Zio couldn't like make it if he actually had enough time to run past me. Although the other problem is that like because Hyde goes into the air, you can run under him. Um, whereas other assists, this is kind of like why this is like the main weakness of Pale Brain, right? Is that if you for the purpose of active searches, is that it it ends with him in the air, which is not good. Uh, that's why, like, assists like Vatista's 5P are probably better overall than Pelbringer, I'd say. Even though Pelbringer is really... Oh, I mean, like, Pelbringer, it has, like, I think it's, like, faster to reach the maximum distance, which is a good advantage to it. But that is the disadvantage, is that it lands, it, like, it, it ends with him in the air, so it... If you act as switch, if you, like, wait for him to land, it leaves, like, a big gap in the block zone, so you kind of have to be, like, smart about it. Good run forward! Because he's running forward, he runs underneath and gets the auto block. Mm -hmm. Alright, so okay. KP. That was just bad by me. I, I thought it would work, it didn't work. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> Drops his combo okay. okay, so this DP, I'm not sure what I was thinking. I think I was just thinking, oh, I just want to DP. DP? Ooh, okay. Got his taking it a bit. Looking like an even game. No one wants to commit. Ruby commits, but so does the assist. Right, so I'm. Oh, uh, I shouldn't. I shouldn't be calling my assist when they're at like that low health. That was good. Have to pay you down. I now I have no idea what to do the, when she does combo cannon because I'm playing as this character. I, I'm assuming combo cannon is probably not that good, but I'm just like it's like just it's like a snowflake, but probably not as good as snowflake. But I'm still like scared of fucking with it because I don't, I don't really know. Damn. You know what? This isn't good for a Jedi right it's now. No. But he does have a million chip damage. And here's the classic. Just back off. I'm going to run towards him. But as soon as he, I get kind of close, just hit Asher over courses. 
So how he like he despite him not playing the game, he does know the strats. Like he knows some BB tag strats. That's like a classic BB tag thing. You just you can air dash over them call him serious. Uh oh. Doesn't matter. Dead. So yep. that was good by him. I, I do Darby, respect Harvey. Looking to protect that first seed. <clears throat> Alright. So here, so, going to the last game, question. this is where I was kind of like a little bit stressed. I wasn't like that stressed because I still felt like I should win. Uh, but obviously it was closer than I thought it was going to be. But I, I'm pretty sure there was a like, there, I was at no point thought, oh, I'm, I'm going to lose. Fuck. Like, I thought, I always thought like, okay, I'm, I'm probably still going to win. So. I uh, hit X while your opponent's on the screen. <laughs> and by X, I mean not partner, the other one. Switch. Change. Change is the button. So, just, um, so you hit change while your partner is on the screen at any moment. So I just did the order. He jumps over it. Uh, I didn't really get much, but I hit Ruby. Nice. That's why uh, Gord and Ruby were so strong. So I decided to just like jump back instead of... And he actually did the jump C. So I think I did the right thing. Because they could just keep doing that with spinning. And uh, I don't know why he did the 2C there. Uh, I'm not sure what he was looking for. I, I wonder if he was looking to punish an overhead. That would have been a really crazy hard call if that's what he was looking for. I don't know. Uh, I just did. I just tried to be safe. Yeah, I was actually trying to figure that button out while I was playing. Yeah! <laughs> that's classic. You know, we get the same image. Do the active switch. Good burst. <laughs> it's fine. I guess that's the kind of thing I should think of. Like, maybe I should try to put bait. I feel like, eh, it's not worth trying to bait. Like... Even though he's probably gonna burst, it's like not that bad if he does. You can unassign it if you want, I think. <laughs> so here's me, I don't know what I pressed, but I got hit. I need it. <gasps> and there's me doing a panic burst and it whiffing on a combo like I just mentioned before. Uh, that's not good. Nice. Alright, Javi looking strong this round. Did I looks like it's clustered. Ooh. That was uh that was pretty sick by me. I I don't know I like I th I'm pretty sure I wanted to DP off of this, uh, but I will, I'm not 100 percent sure what I I don't completely remember what I was thinking. Oh good. I'll, I'll just say that I I was I meant to do that. Hey, how bring up? Oh my All god! Right. This was really good. I think like I was I got like an early deficit. Ooh, good DP. Like, it's still pretty even, but like... No, I guess it is just even. Like, I don't know, it's hard to tell. But, he probably was not expecting this. How bring up? I don't know, like, he didn't even get counted here, he was just gonna run forward. So, that was just good by me. And, the, I, and I hit his assist as well. So, I got the happy birthday. Huh? Oh my gosh, oh. that fireball! The HC Super, take as much damage as you can, Jaya Vortex. So, that was like, not a pretty good combo. I don't know if I could have done anything better, but like, I didn't massively fuck it up. I did a, I did an alright combo, so I'm happy with that. And I know! I decided to not do the, um... I decided not to do the HC, because the HC only hits one character, and it doesn't do like that. So, I think it's usually not worth the DHC, because I'm not sure. He needed to do He's so good at blocking the 5 Cs, I don't know why, I don't know how, but he is. I need to. I should have like done something else, but it's okay. Hellbringer, the long animation. Okay, that was a really fucking ballsy call by me. Um, yeah, I was just. I just had balls of steel this game. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna DP. In. And I think that's not the last one I do. I think I do another one in this game as well. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but it, Hellbringer doesn't catch both characters. It only catches. Um... So here's me not respecting push block. <clears throat> I guess like, cause. It's it's also kind of like a player thing. Like I think I feel like Tez doesn't push block as much. I feel like I can get away with just pressing buttons on him uh, more so than like what I. So I was not sort of in tune to be expecting the push block. But it is something that I do need to be cognizant of. Is that if you whiff five BB, you will definitely get three B. It'll catch both oh. characters on the, the horizontal part, but a better one to catch one. I think. Yeah. Okay. So here I was like. This was, I very clearly remember what I was thinking this time. I was like, okay, he, I'm blocking this assist. He is not going to be baiting a DP. He's going to be trying to pressure off this assist. He will not expect a DP here. So I'm just going to mash DP. And I was right. Good DP. And uh, thank you, Mullet Cap. That was a good DP. 
Uh, arguably, I could have done Gyre Vortex, uh, but I feel like it's just if you try to like mash a super, you kind of risk like getting thrown or something, or like accidentally inputting throw or something. It's easier to just mash DP. It's just one button. Alright, hides in. We're gonna see a lot of Zeo. He said hides in. Yeah, fucking doesn't matter. Not Zeodine. Uh, Zeo. That's dead. I don't know how he got hit, but we'll take those. Did I link? Look so here's another case of a really bad CC. Oh, he wasn't. Hides not even close. Like, I should not have done this. Because, like, I kind of just think, oh, yeah, it's a sandwich, right? So I should CC. But, yeah, it wasn't a really good situation. Strong take oh. Solo Ruby. You never know. Line. If he just kills this U. He's ready for Astro, he's gotta get a and hit. I didn't have that much, like, assist meter, so... I couldn't have done that much. I would have had to, like, immediately do something to make it work. Otherwise... I, cause I, I didn't have enough to, like, do several mix -ups. Or, like, I didn't have enough to, like, set up for a mix-up with Hyde being that far away. Uh, anyway. Very early, though. A lot of HP. I, know, I probably just jumped on him. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, he doesn't. He has that level 3. He can't Astro. He needs to win this the proper way. Yeah. Leaved in half. Okay. So here I'm blocking high because I know that Harvey likes doing the overhead. Yeah. Because Ruby has a really good overhead. I and I saw him do it to other people. I was like watching his map. So I'm like, okay. I decided I'm gonna okay. block high. But he actually, um, he actually he was waiting for a DP because I guess I'd done it like several times that game. So he thought like surely, surely he's gonna, you know. Like, when, it's it's frustrating to get hit by so many DPs, because, like, when you get hit by that many DPs, like, you want to just bait it and punish it and get your massive damage report. But it doesn't really work like that. Like, you can't just, like, treat it as, like, okay, uh, what's it called? It's, like, the gambler's fallacy. Like, oh, he did it so many times, he's surely going to do it again. Like, no, not really. Not necessarily. In this situation, I feel like it's not worth trying to DP, because I have the lead. So, I think, like, he should have been cognizant that... This was not a situation where I would have been DPing. Um, <clears throat> well, like, I, when I, I have the leaders in, like, I have two characters. I, I mean, I do have the life. I'm, actually, I'm not sure in that other situation where I did it. I probably still have the lead. I, I think Hyde was really hell. So I, I, wanted, I wanted Hyde to not die. So that's why I was like, okay, I will DP. Uh, from, like, from memory. Like so here, I just go for the reset. Um, like... You know, it's pretty. It, it would have killed either way. So in this kind of situation, like, I don't care about trying to confirm the jump A. I'm just gonna do it and then just immediately do go for the high percent. Dead. 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 Cross slash. Javi has been slain. Yes, he goes to losers. So yeah, Javi has been slain. Not out yet. And all is right with the world. I am in winners' mm -hmm. rounds. It's okay. Javi time. wants to lose because now, he wants a little bit of fun trivia. Not fun trivia is that I had like a bit of a sore stomach <laughs> uh, for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe I was just like nervous. So I was like, I I ate an apple uh, while I was waiting for grand finals. It made me feel a little bit better. So I'm kind of glad that I had such a long time to wait. Uh, Stop playing this game. No. As opposed to Tez, who had to like crawl or through like losing stop eight. Uh, which is unfortunate because, like, I mean, we shouldn't have been, we shouldn't have played in semis, we should have played in finals, but fucking how easy was the first. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I've hopped on with that. I'm just kidding. Now I have Tez versus. Now I have to skip on ahead. Tez versus who? It's not Jedi. Is it. What's this match? Okay, jump. So I'm just gonna flip. So, all right, this is this is his this is this one. All right, is this me? No, this is still him. Uh, oh, what was that? He had him. He did. He just hit throw too early. It's the class. Sometimes. Okay, here's his. his all right, grand finals. All right. <laughs> so, grand finals. I was feeling good. Like, I was a bit nervous to play Tez because, I mean, like historically, I don't do well against him. Uh, I did, even though I 3 0 him in Winners Finals, I didn't think like, oh yeah, I beat him, I'll beat him again, surely. I thought like, okay, I, I still need to be play on point to the win. So we got Jedi vs Tez. <clears throat> no intros rocking, that's fair. He picked User Heroes theme. I, I, I don't know why he picked that, 
I wonder if he was just trying to like calm himself down because Yuzu Hero's theme is like it's kind of it's a bit relaxing it's not like super upbeat I mean it is upbeat but it's like upbeat in like a, a funky happy way rather than like a super action packed way uh, but I was kind of like I kind of got into it as well I was like bobbing my head to the music I, I kind of like used it to hype myself up to like relax myself a bit like yeah okay well, we got nothing to worry about let's go we're on a tight schedule maybe he just likes Yuzu Hero's theme I don't know I'm reading too much into it alright Okay, so this is kind of, all I want to do here is, I just want to like, get behind him I guess, and it doesn't completely work, uh, but, <clears throat> that's okay. He doesn't, the thing is that like, he has to like, confirm it to Megido to get a punish off that, which is kind of a read, I think, so, I don't know, maybe, maybe if he did Megido. Play is Raging Lion. Alright, so, using the shield, the, uh, the swap slow. So there's the, um, switch. Just switch. I, I didn't want to go for the pogo here, because it was a weird height, so I decided to just end it. Alright, good pressure from Jedi here. So he's not push blocking, like, even though he has, I guess he only has one bar. But, like, he doesn't push block as much. Uh, which is why I can kind of get away with doing a lot of stuff. Let's see if Tez can force his way out. Okay, this is another case of me just doing something completely wrong. Uh, so, this was like half a thought that I got like mixed up in my head. Because what it is is that Hyde's jump C pulls out of the corner for some fucking reason. Um, <clears throat> and what you can do is if you do it with uh, U6P, you can force a sandwich. Like, you pull them out of the corner, then the 6P locks them down, then whatever you want. Uh, it does not work if you do it then active switch, like if you do the 6p first and then do it then active switch, uh, which achieves nothing. I mean, it still pulls them out of the corner, but you can't really like capitalize with them. Uh, but I guess it does like lock Igus down to get you in, which is okay, I guess. But And he doesn't block low for some reason, I don't know why. But like I mentioned before, like sometimes I just block low for me. And I just don't block low for no So maybe sometimes he just does this. Like, you just forget. Oh, I gotta block it. Maybe, maybe he actually res uh, expected uh, Rage in Line, which he shouldn't have because I had just done an active switch. So that it, I even if I did it, I would have no way to convert. So he should not have been scared about that. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe he, just, he was just sleeping. He was expecting Rage uh, So the commentator said he was expecting Rage in Line, which I don't think is true. You're lying. Uh, so, uh, here's me not using CC to save my assist. I just... I'm still... I'm, I'm like... Uh, I don't know why I've been playing this game for this long. I still don't always do it consistently. I'm just bad. Um, All right. Jedi knows that that... That whiffed. Okay. This is something that, like... Uh, I guess 6P should not... Like, it's not a good assist. But him just, like... Calling it and air dashing in is surprisingly not that bad. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe maybe it's better than I give credit. JC from high. So I want to see. All right. Jedi knows that that. Woo! So here's him going into five A. I feel like five A like Tez kind of hypes up five uh, A is as being like good because it's minus one, but you know it's got two hits, so you can push block it really easily, and. I'm really like, I don't mind just push blocking it. And he does the 5B and it whiffs and I punish it. JC from high doesn't actually. Although I do the wrong assist, so I can't get the call. An overhead. From high. So I fucking Len's talking about how I did the JC and he was wondering if I knew it wasn't an overhead. I obviously know it's not an overhead, Len. Fuck you. No, I'm kidding. I love you, Len. Uh, but, yeah, that's like, I, I, I mean, I mentioned what I was thinking before. Hi. Oh, yeah, he knows. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck this. Okay, this is something that I get hit by embarrassingly often, is when he does DP assist with this team. Because it's not a good DP assist. Like, I guess this assist is not, like, a good DP assist. But I still get caught by it. Because it's not a true block string, so I could just throw him. Uh, what I have discovered, actually, is that... Uh, <clears throat> with hide, you can, like, 5B and then hit I guess, which I think makes the mortar disappear. So, uh, with you, if you're close enough, 5A will reach. I think that's that possibly is what I tried to do. 
I met it, mine was done too late. I, I think my, maybe it wasn't that close. I tried to like run up first, which was fine. So, yeah, whatever, it's not a big deal. But I probably, maybe I should just go for the throw punish anyway. Because even though the throw punish is scaled, like, it lets me do the air combo, which is good. Which is like just assistless corner carry. Maybe it's, so maybe it's just better anyway. So maybe I should just do that. Uh, Tez knows, because he used to be, uh, I guess, hide main. I don't know why, I don't know why I was doing it here. Like, I did the assist, but I didn't do no see. I wonder if I was like... It's weird because I don't know I don't know what I was thinking, but it worked out anyway. Because like Sorry. I just air pass, air dash pass him, him. but then I didn't get anything. Off. Jedi, oh, he, Jedi. Keep, he keeps going for that rather than like rising JA or something that's actually gonna hit overhead. And Len's talking about doing rising jump A, which does not work. That only works on fuzzy guard. You can't do rising jump A with high. That's not an overhead. And even if you could, there's no way you combo off it with an action switch. Um. Okay, what happened? I didn't fucking save my assist. I'm so stupid. Uh, I think he wants it for lockdown. Yeah. So yeah. rising JA or something that's actually gonna hit. Her. Why did I not save hide? Why am I so bad as a kid? Uh, I think he wants it for lockdown. Yeah. So yeah, he's using it so he can change to you, and then suddenly yeah. get a mix up. Yeah, that works on crouches. Lol. <laughs> Jin is not good. I mean, Jin is good, but like his buttons are not good. Like that just yeah. enforces breaking <laughs> line, basically. <laughs> The block. No. Uh, so I decided to not do the second high and do the throw, which caught him off. So it's really good that like if you get an air dash with no economy, he has like lots of mix ups, which is really good. You can do like the triple overhead, you can do like quadruple overhead if you do like five AA, uh, then like five A, which has two hits, then five AA, which is the third hit, then jumps, then jump C, which is the last hit, fourth hit. Or you can just like do it early than either low or throw. So in this situation, he wasn't ready for the throw. Uh, no. Well, I failed the combo because I'm bad. Oh, it drops a combo though. Good. Uh, good block. Uh, I did it too high, so I got punished. Whack. Block. Get super aware. So I think this I might lose be this game. Dead, I think. <laughs> yeah, this is dead. I mean, dead. I don't think I come back from this. It's, it's pretty. Bad. Oh no, he drops it. I only had one bar. That wasn't gonna kill. Oh yeah. Size to save it, which is fair. But this is another thing that, like, I've, I've sort of have seen myself make this mistake a few times. Is like when I see him boosting towards me, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna press a button, but he can just land and attack faster than I expect. Hit. That's so true. I, That's I get hit. counter hit by this like more oh, often than I should. Oh yeah, size to save it, which is fair. But That's so fast. Like he lands and can just immediately button. It's like it's actually. Way faster than you expect. So that's, I mean, that's good by him for utilizing that. Because, uh, like, I'm thinking, oh, I guess it's just boosting. She can't block. I mean, I think she can. She can just cancel it. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't fully understand how I guess boost mechanics work. This is, it, it occurs to me that I probably should have, like, tried to thoroughly understand this. But whatever. I won anyway. Who cares? That's one to cares. <laughs> so. So I went down game one, so... Awesome. I, uh, obviously a 3 0 First game goes winners, to Tez. Pretty convincing, actually. And this is With super not patient, gonna be a 3-0. And then, you know, stopped Jedi's momentum. So he's already doing better than he ran it back. Last, so. Did a mil uh, a, quite a few good blocks on Raging Lion, but got called out by that 2A. So I think if Jedi Link adapts to switching between the two more pretty frequently, I yeah. think he can start running it back. Assuming he gets <laughs> the pressure in the first place. Okay, so I do I do Ramstar Orbiter again. I think I just did it every single time. Because, like, he doesn't really have a good answer to it. And there's pretty much no reason why I shouldn't. Alright. Orbiter Lockdown. Okay, good throw. The throw. Dash 5A. And that's kind of, like, kind of like a really scary situation. I, I think he can just push block there, like, if he wants to defuse that. So I don't know why he doesn't. I feel like Tez probably needs to push block a little bit more than he does. Oh, drops a combo, combo though. Lock. Oh, reset. Oh, no, that was that was a bait. That was a reset. No, I just... The combo, but it worked out somehow. Jin comes in. No punish on the burst there. Yeah. Okay, so that time you pushed block, that was good. Um. <clears throat> uh. So here's me and here's the DP. One up DP. Yeah. Right. Yo, backdash. Ooh. Okay. I actually do wake up backdash. I think. Uh. And I don't know what he was pressing. Like, I, but I got the count. 
so that was good. Ooh, that was an excellent backdash. Alright, so this is looking him. like a rough round. Knockdown. Knockdown. I get him nice with the backdash, the air backdash mix-up. Let's fucking go. Okay. Let's peg out. Mm -hmm. This is all I'm best of all. It's not that much damage. Ooh. I messed the combo up. Yeah. But he bursts when he should not, so he's just trying his gang way. Punishes the burst that time. Mm -hmm. Would you prefer to lock in or try neutral with Igus again? I think I would have. And there's the classic, just spam all the it knocks him down. Kept him by. You yeah. need to enforce. Oh, but it's so good! So oh, but it's so good! Stay out of it. Okay, okay, this situation. So, what this was. It, it probably looks like I just reacted to him getting hit, but what it actually was is by. that I saw that he had no uh, assist gauge, and I just thought, okay, if he calls his assist, I'm just going to super let kill Jin. Even if I get punished, it's worth it. You yeah. need to enforce yeah. Jedi to block. And so, so I was like, okay, here's Jin, here's the Zero done. And it just luckily worked out that I just got his well, so I just immediately won the game. So. Just stay, stay out a bit and get yeah. like your characters heal up. Mm, happy that, birthday. All that happens. <laughs> yeah. Good adaption from Jedi there. Tez a little bit less patient this time. I feel like he needs to be just a little bit more. Yeah, that happened to me as well. Mm. It's rough. It's like you're trying to counterplay Jedi, but you're not like playing patient enough, barely. So there's the. Uh, I'm kind of okay with this trade, like. I, I don't know what hit Igus. Did, did she get hit by the orbiter as well? Uh, so I got hit, but like they both got hit. That's kind of that's fine. Because then eventually he comes up and he drops. Uh, I don't know why I did EX0. I guess that was like... Because EX0 will blow through a machine gun. So in this kind of situation, like no matter if he did the 2B or the machine gun, that would hit him. Uh, so I guess like I was kind of reading that he would do... He would probably do either one of those. And EX0 would be both. And I was kind of right, so that's good. Get in the knockdown, get to get close. Sorry, you, and then you just like, look. There's the slide. I don't know. Okay, so there's fucking Orbiter being OP again. Hits Jin. I think I get hit by Jin as well, but it doesn't like get the second hit. Or like, I don't get knocked down, so I'm fine. It's not, it's not the second hit. No, it is the second hit. Yeah, it does two hits. Um. <coughs> Alright, good trades. So, oh, that's good. Did he? Yeah, I think. Oops. All right, barely. Because then eventually he comes up and he throws you, and then you're just like, whoops. So I think we just both tried to button at the same time. Straight. All right, good trades. Okay, so that like called out his air back dash, and then he air teched. So I was like, okay, he's gonna air tech. So I'm just gonna DP straight away. That was sick. Good DP. I I shouldn't have done this. I was too far away. I should have realized that that wouldn't reach. And I did the wrong assist anyway. Yeah, Link doing well. Oh, that's like, that's a really ghetto frame trap. Because I don't think that's a real frame trap. But it's like, if they react to the 5A, and they're like, okay, he just did a single 5A, now I'm going to press a button. Then, yeah, you can sort of do that. Um. Alright, excellent 2B. Could have caught it a jump. Okay, so good burst. Off on the off on mm -hmm. Shout outs Ooh. to uh, so now, Orbiter. But, yeah. There's no nothing to block that deal. I'm just trying to get the Orbiter out as, as much as I can. Here's me doing the wrong super. <laughs> Okay, I mean, that's just like, whoopsies, whatever. Wrong super? Yeah. That hit? Whoa! Okay. Good sword. So this kind of neutral, like, you know, I'm really not afraid of Jin at full screen, because as long as I just keep putting out the Orbiter, you know, he's not really going to be able to get anything super good started on me. Because his assist, obviously, uh, I guess 6P is not very good. Just waiting for Jedi to come to him. Good, no. good DP, good TV. Um, yeah. Nice DP, catches both the characters. Alright, cross combo. Good punish. I don't know, did that, was that a punish? That's probably. Not dead. Nah. Okay. Tez got no needle left. Mm-hmm. Chaz to Orbiter again. <laughs> oh, he's not Do you there. think people have to be the same? Oh, it's the same one. It's the, it's the same all, first no. one. Diversity and uniqueness is... The most important factor. What does this even if we're all for? the same, it would be pretty black. Together, we're different. Broadband belong. Orbiter. Orbiter. Yep. All right, whatever. Uh, I need to get this character out. <laughs> this character's gonna die. I don't know how I lost all this hole. 
Such a good neutral tool. So, yep, Stop just basically any projectile. I think there are very few that beat yeah. it. It's five Here's minutes. me calling my sister game when I shouldn't. I really should have just like went. So I guess bullets and the gin break probably blow through all pretty clean. Yeah, I think also New can out prioritize it. Yeah, her five B. I. What, uh, whatever, there's me calling my sister game, which I probably shouldn't. Like her thoughts on startup have like insane your So, I don't know what I was thinking with this uh, failbringer. I felt like I was reading that he would like try to hit me and then I would palebringer, which would hit him. And I think that was just like a panic, like, oh, I just need a palebringer right now for some reason. And I just did it. Even though I probably was not the right call. But it did kill Igus, which is good. So I think in a way it actually kind of was right, uh, sort of. Maybe not, because Hyde's probably gonna die now. Good block. Lost Igus? No, no, because I can burst. Okay. So maybe that actually was optimal. Is that like I can just kill Igus and if he tries to punish me, I'll just immediately burst. So uh he I mean he probably should have baited the burst, but he might not have I mean it was such like a weird unexpected thing that he probably was not even thinking about it at all. Um so maybe that was actually optimal by me, even though it's like a weird panic option. But nice buff. We're at a point where we can totally win if you just block me. All right, chip damage. He has to get. He has to tag you quickly. Like so, uh, freaking. <coughs> Molecap said I have to tag you quickly, but there's really not that much de difference between having one pixel of health and having like hides, not that much more health. So. Because it's not like you can die from chips, so it's like if I get a proper hit on me, I'll, I'll probably be dead. I feel like I might as well just let Hyde get more health back. Because if I can get like most of this health back, that's at least I could possibly survive one. Um. Like, he doesn't want to play Hyde. Oh, that was a really good run up DP by him. Oh, nice. Oh. Um, good catch of the jump. This was just me not looking at his meter. Because like you should never do this if Jin has three bars. Because you will just die. Um, oh, he's and dead! That's it. Another one to Tez. <clears throat> Good use of push block. Yeah, so really, he like, I should have known he was going to be Which is kind of interesting down. because uh, uh, he hasn't used much push block, so Jedi <laughs> assumed that he could just continue yeah. pressure for at least two hits, and then instant push block, instant toga. So it worked out pretty well for Tez, and I feel like Jedi is probably going to try and counterplay that yeah. now. So he's going to play a little bit more respectfully, and that's going to give Tez the opportunity he needs to start Argus yeah, pressure. Yeah, to see if he can get this reset. <coughs> <coughs> Although, yeah, if you're going to drop three bars on push block super, you don't want to do it too often, or they bait it, and you've just spent three bar like an yeah. idiot. But you can spend three bar with Jin and then <coughs> take a million chip damage. Yeah. So here's the orbiter again. Alright. I don't know why he did 4A. Like, I don't know what that's supposed to cover. Uh, whatever. Oh, late raging lion. Good mix up there. Uh, this was a weird sort of idea. I don't remember what I was thinking here, but it kind of worked. Like, it hit him. I wonder if that caught his jump. Like, uh, I wonder if that actually is consistent. That's something I should test. Okay. Uh, does 5 AA slide catch jump? And then I kind of like, I, I'm i not sure if like, I, I don't remember what I was thinking, but I, I was like, okay, I can CC to convert this, but he bursted, which is fine. Oh, couldn't do Actually, something I wanted to mention uh, about just CC in general. Uh, I've sort of said a few times that uh, <clears throat> a lot of times when I CC, I probably should just because I'm not like proficient enough to use it. Uh, I used to use CC like not at all, ever. Uh, I only started sort of incorporating it a little bit, uh, kind of recently, uh, and I used to not use it ever because, like, one, I just found it hard to control, and two, there were some certain things I didn't understand about it that I just I just didn't know. Uh, like, one is that I didn't know that all CC damage is unrecoverable, which is really OP, and you it's really good to take advantage of that. Uh, if I had known that, I probably would have been like, okay, I should use this. But I, I, I just didn't know for some reason. Uh, the other thing was that um, I sort of massively overestimated how much time it took to regenerate. I was like, okay, if I CC, I really need to get something off it. Otherwise, I've just wasted my whole bar. 
But I was like really surprised once you actually look at how long it takes to regenerate, it doesn't take that long. So it's kind of like even if you don't get much off it, it's like it's not that bad to go for. Um, and the thing is that like when you CC, you sort of like are in control of neutral until it ends. Like when Ted CCs against me, I'm just like okay, I'm just gonna fuck off, to like super jump out, or try to safely hit him if I can do. Uh, just to end this CC. I'm obviously not going to be playing normally while I'm in CC because it's just too risky. So obviously CC does have like a lot of neutral command. Even if you're not like Ruby God, even if you're not like have good mix ups with it, just just being in CC at all is kind of like scary. <clears throat> so that's really good. Do it. Uh, now I will probably be better at using CC after the patch because of the uh, collision box change, which makes it a lot easier to do stuff, so. like to do mix ups with it. Good blocks. I guess that's a situation where if I had done 2B DP, I would have died. Because he landed on the ground and blocked. Uh, and then the other thing is that... Oh, couldn't do it. <coughs> Good. So this is me doing the air dash cross up. Good blocks. Uh, so something that Tez has mentioned to me is that like although I've mentioned a few times that he's like really good at taking throws He is relatively more weak at uh, Blocking cross-ups, especially this like this kind of mix-up you are probably not going to be expecting to like have to switch to block the other direction like, In that kind of situation. It's really good. That's something I, I was like when I was like warming up on the Sunday I just practiced doing like the 5a cross-up over and over because I was like, you, I need to be able to execute this perfectly because it's really good and it actually worked. <clears throat> Bad, gets hit by the crossover. Okay. Alright, looking like a Jedi around here. I fucked up. Okay, whatever. Drop the combo. And both of my characters got punished. So I was like, okay, I will call my assist to cover my ass so I don't get punished. And really, it was just both characters got punished. But at least it was like, I, did, I took like just a super, not like a combo. So I guess it's alright. And tags each character for 4k. Yeah, apparently it says loser's final on here. So here's me just switching to Narukami. This is something that like, because I just don't want to play this matchup with Hyde, so... I'm just like, yeah, I'll switch. Oh, I can fix that, I think. So there's another case of just push block and cheat. That was not a good burst, I don't know why I did that. Like, even without the assist, it just whiffed for some reason. So, but... I mean, it whiffed because I was in the middle of the slide, that's why. But he shouldn't have bursted. That was a panic burst. That was not good by Tez. He was on tilt. I don't know. But, uh, I mean, I won't, like, explain why he did it, but that was just not good. So here's me trying to do the back dash cross up. I didn't do it right. Oh, it is. My bad. I don't know if that was worth it. Um, whatever. I, I mean, Narcom got hit. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh. I, I legitimately don't know what I was thinking there at all. Uh, I thought, okay, maybe he'll like press something, so I should just fail bring it. That's just me being dumb. Become the big punish. Okay. <laughs> yep. So this game, I, I'm kind of like throwing it away. Back. I'm just doing it. Really good throw by him. So, uh, you know, I was mentioning before about how like he just doesn't like mix up with the throws. This time he actually does. I was not expecting him to throw here at all. I was like, okay, I gotta block. He throws. That was really good. I was not ready to take it whatsoever. Oh, it's too bad. No really good uh, bait on the burst as well, even though he didn't do it right. <laughs> I mean, I respect the idea. He just executed it wrong. But that was like, I think that was possibly the only like really good burst bait of the tournament. And unfortunately it didn't work. I don't remember seeing any other like really good burst space. I didn't do any obviously. Um, that was like really smart by him. Uh, I am sort of like, I'm, I'm disappointed that it didn't work even though it was on me. Just because it was that good. Nice. Oh, oh no punish though. Try for that. Excuse me. Okay, Mortar's alright. <laughs> okay, that raw punish so he didn't have to spend his assist. Oh. Alright, uh, good call on the air dash by me. But Morta fucking intercepts me again. Maybe Morta's not as bad as I... Because the thing is, like, it obviously it doesn't have any full screen presence, but up close, it it is active for a long time, and it covers both the ground and the air. So maybe it has niche use. It's not that bad. Uh, 
He did the 4A again. I don't know if that's just like a muscle memory. I don't know what he's trying to do. He did not update. Bad burst. Look at that I didn't need to spend the bar. But... Yeah, did not. Okay. We'll fix it in a sec. Jin goes down. Resin's plays. There we go. Cross up. Good block. That was the wrong thing. I was trying to do slide. Uh, 5B is extremely slow. It will never... It will never, like, be tight from anything. No matter what you do. Like, if you do, like, 5A, 2B, it always leaves a massive gap where they can jump out. Uh, so slide is obviously much better to active switch with. But I just messed up the motion, and that's why I got that. My B. Nice! Tez! <coughs> doing really well there. So here's uh, me trying to push block 5A when 5A -A -A will reach anyway. So but I think it's still worth it anyway, because like, even though I'm still in block zone, at least I'm far enough away that I can't get mixed up. So even though like it's still worth it. To, I think it's just worth it to, as soon as you confirm that you push block, you have blocking eyes, just push block straight away. Like, I don't think there's any point in like trying to wait for the best time to push block. You just want to do it straight away. Um, Oh, nice. I don't know why. Jumpy. Are we going to see an Astral yeah. on stream? No, Tez isn't going to commit to Astral. Oh, oh nice, Pension. So, uh, that was like a good sort of air dash. I don't know. Hang on. Oh, nice, Pension. Oh, so, it was just me like reacting to the machine gun. I don't know why he did like push block machine gun. That's not really. I mean, it's like it, it. It would be. It would be. It would be good if I. It probably should have just done push block super. I don't know. I just didn't do that. I mean, I guess machine gun's safer. But like, it's if I jump out, which was he did it after five AA, so I was probably gonna jump. Like, if I did like instant air dash, machine gun would probably hit. So maybe it's not that bad of an idea. But I I reacted to the machine gun. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna get my punish. But I I got too like hasty with the 5A. I did it too early, so I couldn't get the combo. All right, good push block. Too big. No. Okay, that was me just trying to tease him. Because uh, this is something that like I've I was talking to Quick because I was getting mad at him doing fucking Gordo's EX Grim Reaper, and I was like, fuck that move. And he was like, you can do the same thing, or basically the same thing with EX Slide. And I was like, hmm, hmm maybe he's right. Maybe, maybe EX slide, random EX slide is actually, like, it will catch people sometimes. Obviously it's like super risky though, and I, oh, I do get punished. And he's got super, that's dead. However, yeah, he's very this is the big controversy, this is the big controversy of the match, is that for some reason I fell out of this combo. And Tez was like really upset about this. This is like the one thing from the set that he was like, I should have won this game because he fell out of the game winning combo. <laughs> and obviously, if I had lost this game, it would reset. And I, I mean, I, we can't like say for certain what would have happened if it would have reset. Like maybe he would have had momentum. But I don't really believe. Like I didn't really, I didn't really feel tilted. I felt like I was still pretty comfortable. So I think if it was a reset, I still could have won. It would like I didn't feel that bad about it. But um, <clears throat> well, the problem with Tez is that anyone who has played me in Skullgirls knows. That me falling out of combos is actually my special ability. Uh, so since Tez has not played Skullgirls, he didn't know that, so he didn't take that into account. That's why he lost the game. Um, so all of this is this is just a lesson that everyone should play Skullgirls. That is all. Oh no! Oh no! Speak <laughs> too soon. And this is the other thing that. Um, so I was like, oh yeah, he's doing missiles. I can just punish this. However, he can. He did the like or gear cancel, and <clears throat> this is something I didn't realize until afterwards. Like I thought this was just a punish, but he said he could have supered post flash, uh, which I didn't even think about if he could do that or not. Uh, so that was just like me not having matchup knowledge, not realizing that he could do. That. Um, but he didn't th think he could do it at the time either. He didn't like think about it. He thought he could just block, but he couldn't, and. He just got super and he died, so... Ooh, Jedi! Oh, that critical drop! Tez is going to be kicking himself for that. So, I, I stole that game, definitely. Yeah, you have to really be careful with those <laughs> missiles. Yep. Oh, I just got too antsy with the 5B. Right, last game. 
Yes, I think that's the correct button. Yeah, it looked like he got sweep instead of super when he could have ended it. Oh, he wasn't going for yeah. super. He was going for the sweep and then the ah. super. We're talking about sweep. So it's, not it's, not, it's not sweep. No, it's just a 5B. It looked like a 2C. Like looked like a 2C. Like a 2C like uh, they, they completely don't know what I dispense. are. C is the actual... It's a fucking... <laughs> I'm still laughing at this, just over there, just hitting Jim. It's so good. This assist is so good. Oh, I love it so much. I, guess. I can, like, I, I think I just always have to play Hyde, just because his... I mean, I like Hyde a lot, but also his assists are just so good. I just can't not have them. Okay, so this is good, using the assist to cover the Mega. He decides to not do anything off it, though, which is a bit weird. Because, like, I'm not gonna DP. Like, I will never try to DP Igus, because I'm always afraid that she's gonna safe jump it. So, I don't know why he just backs off. Uh, <clears throat> I feel like he should have just tried to enforce pressure. Even if he knows that, like, he can't actually safe jump off that. I, like, I don't know. I'm not gonna. But I'm not gonna try to DP. I really don't DP that much in June. Except for that game against Harvey, where I did it, like, four times. Other than that, I don't really DP that much. Just because the risk reward is so insanely skewed against doing it. Um, from Tez, but respects all, but it's too hard. Okay, this is me trying to shark for a grab, but Tez is not falling for this. Tez will tech this. I really should have done something else. Uh, this is just me, like, I don't know, because this works against a lot of people. Like, they'll be like, oh fuck, what's he gonna do? And then they just don't expect the grab. Tez is ready for the grab. Like, if there's any one option that Tez is always ready for, it's the grab. And that's something that, like, I really should have been more cognizant of in that situation. Um, fucking Orbiter again, let's go. This, okay, I need to, I should have done a tally of how many times Orbiter, like, saved me. Uh, that would have been fun. I wish I had actually thought of that before I started this. <laughs> it's too late now. Oh. Okay, uh, 5 a whiffs. I probably should have confirmed to Zeodyne straight away. Whatever. Bye, bang. That was just really bad. I, I like, I was hard reading that he was gonna up back, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna DP his up back. It's gonna be sick. But I was just completely wrong. So I should not have done this. This is just like so bad risk reward. Um, Through the ice. Deeply punished. Let's yep. make of it. Doesn't have a lot of get, I think 7k. No, 6k. Okay, so here, like, yeah, I guess that. he is, um, this is the thing is, another thing with Tez is that I think he's, like, he doesn't quite mix up his pressure quite good enough. Like, he did, he did sweep first, then f jump A after, and I think that's, like, usually what he does a lot of the time. I mean, sometimes he'll do, like, jump A first, but, like, he always does, I think I was talking to him about this at the event. That like he always does jump A after sweep, so I always know I can block high if I see a sweep, and then if I block, I can push block and he's out. Whereas if he just like boosts and then goes low, he can either like boost and block, which means if I try to push block, I'll DP and fucking die, or he can like go low, which I will not expect, and get hit. So I think this is like a big area where it's just like a small habit of Tez that he should tune up. Um, yeah. I did the wrong assist again, but I got the throw, whatever. Nice throw tech. Nice tech again. So here's me calling out hard, like hard reading his air dash again. Right. I'm, I'm really pleased with how many times I just hard read the air dashes. Over the gym, Yeah, good air challenge. Oh, I get you low. So that was the thing again of like the two, the two of the slide. I th I think I'm not sure if that catches jump. Uh, I'm not sure why he got hit, but good burst and he. No. But I've I've a pretty big lead at this point, so I'm pretty concerned. Now I'm probably gonna try to switch to hide because I've got more right now. Just expecting range line. Go on the game down. Tess is keeping it cool. I don't know why I did that. Well, I guess he had no he had no assist meter. But his assist doesn't have enough recovery that it didn't work. Uh, so I was like thinking, oh yeah, I'm gonna punish it, but I just, I guess, doesn't have enough recovery. So that was just bad by me. All right, no one's getting. Oh! But I don't know why that happened. He stood up and got hit by. I could not even offer a guess as to why. He died. I think like Tez was kind of shocked what that happened. Like, 
I think, um, because, like, I don't completely remember. I know he was, like, yelling a lot through the set, and, like, stuff didn't go his way. Uh, I don't remember that specific instance, but I feel like that might be a situation where it was like, what? What happened? I don't know. Not, I don't completely remember. Oh, it gets caught. <laughs> okay, nice by me. That's just the classic. Like, why play neutral when you can just run away and call assists? It's so risk free. And if they try to hit you, they just get hit by the assist. And then you can't buff it. Excellent use of the air dash there by Jedi. The assist hit first, so we can burst it if he wants. Mm -hmm. Gonna hold the damage, take the knockdown. Okay, I just fucked up, but I got the combo in here. Oh, oh, nice to be. Nice nice burst. Burst. Yeah. He could have. I don't know what that was trying to. I'm assuming that was an assist, but I don't know. I was, he probably was trying to mega do if anything, but he had no meter. That's probably what it is. Burst. Oh, I see. Have, yeah. That uh, that doesn't. Uh, I should. I. That's another thing. I probably need to be cognizant of when the five BBB is not gonna hit. Uh, like if they're airborne at some ranges. Like if if it's like max range and they're airborne. I'm not sure. I have to test. Um. Okay. I'm gonna write that down as well. Actually. <clears throat> Alright, so I have a massive lead at this point. I'm thinking, oh yeah, I'm about to fish it. Let's go. Yeah, he went, went oh. for mortar, had no meter. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So, oh. uh, that was good mix by him by going low, but I just managed to um, get. Just burst it out. Oh, Bye, babe. I don't know why that hit. He should not have caught Jim there. <laughs> that was bad. And Orbiter, another, another tally for Orbiter being. Orbiter is the MVP. I actually, I want to like change my Twitter handle to like Orbiter Spam or something stupid like that, just because. Well, I'll change my, my profile picture just to Orbiter. I don't know. I'll think of something else. That'll be a funny shit post. Oh, Boobiki's dead. Okay. I don't know why I said Boobiki. Okay, so in this situation, I'm not going to like try to risk anything because I know that, you know, I have a massive lead, so why would I. Alright, good zero pressure. I don't know why I got hit by that. Give the JA. Okay, he was trying to throw me, uh, so that was kind of like a defensive 2A there, like, that's something that I get, I, I've been getting killed by Tez by, like, the defensive throws, like, I mean, throws, like, went, no, well, how should I say this? I guess it's, it's not really, like, a throw from disadvantage, like, a lot of times what he does is, like, he throws me from disadvantage, like, when I'm just trying to, like, I'm not sure what he's gonna, uh, I get caught by that a lot, that's something that I have historically been obliterated by and like just gets destroyed by all the time but i'm really happy that i didn't get hit by it a single time in this, like in the top and that was part of it like i'm i'm aware of it and i'm like okay i'm just gonna do these two a's so if he tries to throw me he's gonna get hit i didn't confirm it but that's okay runs into it uh i confirmed that though i don't know if i'm gonna do that Biggie. all right good air pressure it's in the ja runs into it oh, i was trying to throw him i guess i was just trying to like i'll just keep throwing him uh, I don't know, I guess he was trying to hit me after the throw with, but he just wasn't fast enough. So yeah, that's it, that's the tournament. Nice, Jedi that's Link it. takes it, 3-2. Excellent oh. work. Okay. Ooh. What a way to end it. So yeah, obviously I was pretty happy about winning. Uh, like I mentioned in my post about Twitter, like when I started playing BB Tag, I really didn't, I wasn't like trying to be the best at it or anything. And I was never thinking that like I was going to win it at <laughs> so I was really happy that I did, uh, and you know, like I mentioned before, I think I did make good adaptations against Tez, which is why I was able to beat him. Uh, and not only did I beat him in these two sets, uh, I also, I think I mentioned before, I played him in the Salty Suite, uh, we did a first of five, and I won that 5-1, so, I mean, like, I was kind of thinking, oh, I, got, I just got lucky, but, I mean, when you have like three chances, and lose all of them at one point like you kind of just have to take responsibility that maybe maybe i am just the better player on that day uh <laughs> or maybe i am just maybe i just got tez's number i don't know uh, i won't like obviously tez is going to come back with a vengeance uh i i do hope he like i know he obviously has room to improve everyone does so i do uh i know he works harder than anyone he's gonna he's gonna i'm Sure, if he fixes this, like some of the stuff that I mentioned, like he'll be a lot scarier. 
Although I, I don't like how I sound like him. I kind of sound a bit patronizing, like I'm playing down his skill. Like, <clears throat> I do want to stress that before the tournament, like I was worried to play him, and I was kind of surprised and happy when I beat him. Uh, but yeah. <clears throat> Anyway, I'm not sure if I have anything else to say, so I probably will stop the recording here. Just under two hours, I'm pretty happy about it. Okay, let's go. Yeah.